And because of COVID-19, this is probably something we'll never be able to do again. What's up everyone, David here with free to be and in today's video, I wanna share with you guys a list of some things that are basically now obsolete because of COVID-19. Now, these are things that before the pandemic, we were all enjoying and we probably thought would never go away. These were experiences and things that we used to love doing. And in our minds, we were like, we'll be able to do this forever. But in just 12 short months, these things have now become obsolete and I just don't see how we'll ever be able to experience these like we used to experience them in the past. Now, I don't wanna make this seem like some doom and gloom video. These are just fun items that I think are obsolete here and we should all just take a moment and enjoy and reflect on the past if we got to enjoy these moments because I just really don't think that these are going to be things that will happen in the future anymore. And just to be clear, this list really doesn't have anything to do with financial literacy, but I thought that it would be fun to share a list of things that are basically going to be gone from our world. They're not going to exist like we knew them prior to the pandemic. Now, as always, before I get started, if you are new to my channel, I cover financial literacy here in an effort to track my progress to financial independence. So if you are new to the channel or haven't done so already, please take a moment and just click the subscribe button down below. It's a completely free action to take and it really does help support the channel. And if you're not new and joining me again, thanks for coming back. All right, guys. Well, listen, obviously the pandemic, coronavirus, COVID-19 has changed a lot of things for a lot of people. And some of these impacts have been very huge in terms of financially, they've affected families. You know, a lot of people have suffered loss during this period of time and none of them should be taken lightly. Obviously this has been hopefully a once in a generation or lifetime type event. Maybe it's not, but with that said, in this video, I wanna just go over a few things that really are becoming obsolete or have become obsolete that we might not ever experience again. So the first thing on this list is something that was really enjoyable to me before the pandemic, and that was the movie theater experience. Before COVID-19, I would probably go to the movies maybe once or twice a month. I mean, it was something that I used to love doing. And now that experience is probably going to change forever. So like, I don't personally see a time where I'll ever go back to a packed movie theater on opening night. I just don't think that's something that I'm ever going to do again. I'll most likely maybe go to a movie theater once in a while if it's empty, maybe on a Sunday morning, but I'm comfortable watching movies at home. If I can see those movies on demand at any time on my big screen TV, that's all that matters to me. I don't necessarily need to go to a movie theater anymore. If I have that same access at home, why spend the time, energy, and effort and put myself in a situation where, you know, I'm going to be in a crowded place. Now, I don't think that movie theaters are done and we're never gonna be able to go to them ever again, but I think that traditional movie theater experience, specifically like when a new movie comes out on opening night, I think those days are behind us. Now, the second thing that I think is become obsolete and will never really be a thing anymore is reusable restaurant menus. Now, remember when you used to go to a restaurant and people would hand you a paper menu or maybe it was a menu that was laminated in a folder, whatever it was, but those menus were often touched by a lot of folks. They had food on them that get just wiped down really you know, quickly after each guest sat at a table but a lot of hands would touch these menus. A lot of food would be sprayed on these menus and they were not the most sanitary things available out there. So I think what'll happen now is a lot of restaurants will just be using basically QR codes to allow people to pull up the menus on their phones or maybe have some kind of digital presentation of the menu. But I think the days of reusable menus are long gone and in our past. I just don't think that those are going to be a thing anymore going forward. And that's fine, I mean, look, Businesses adapt all the time, and that might have been something that might have changed anyways, but I think the pandemic caused it to happen a lot sooner than it might have. Now, the next item on this list that is no longer going to be a thing, that is completely obsolete, is the concept of a snow day. Now, this one hit me pretty early on in the pandemic when I realized that, whoa, businesses and schools were able to transition to completely be remote within a few weeks. And now they have that infrastructure in place to be able to transition that way, which means snow days are no longer a thing. And it really made me sad. It made me sad for the students who will miss out on those experiences that we used to have as kids. But it also made me sad as an employee who would love to have those opportunities to have the office closed because of inclement weather. So those days are long gone. I mean, now people are expected to be able to work
work from anywhere at any time. They're gonna be expected to do schoolwork from anywhere at any time. So snow days and that concept, dead forever. Now the next thing on this list that is obsolete and probably won't be around anymore after the pandemic is the buffet. And yes, buffets generally were not like the greatest quality of food, but just the experience and atmosphere was a fun thing to do, especially if you were in a place like a Vegas or in a resort somewhere and you had access to a breakfast buffet or a lunch buffet. Uh, they were fun to go to. I mean, look, you got to experience a lot of decent quality food for one single price, but everybody was going to those same food troughs and dumping on piles and piles of food on their plates. And yes, there were sneeze guards, but I just think that concept is going to be gone forever, or it's going to have to adapt at least because the traditional sense of having a buffet line and everybody having access to the food on their own, I think those days are long gone. Now, the next thing that's going to be completely gone from our lives is the concept of having birthday candles on the actual cake that you are presented for on your birthday. Now, I don't think candles go away, people will still want to blow out candles but I think having it on the general cake where you blow that cake out and then that same cake is cut up into pieces and served to the guests I think those days are long gone you're going to be blowing out candles on a smaller cake or a cupcake but your actual cake that is going to be served to your guests will not accompany any candles any longer on your birthday maybe if you're around family and friends but in terms of large birthday parties I'm not going to be eating from your cake if your kid or you spat all over it when you blew out your candles I'm just not not going to be doing it. So I think those days are definitely long gone. I think we're going to see a lot of people have bigger birthday parties and then have a smaller cake for the actual birthday person to blow out and then a different cake for serving. But in terms of having one cake with candles on there, I think those days are long gone. And finally, the last item on this list that I think is obsolete and we're just never going to go back to doing this anymore is shaking hands. I honestly think that shaking hands was a weird thing to do to begin with and it should have gone away long long time ago because think about it you're touching palms with a complete stranger that you're meeting for the first time this is someone you don't even know and you're just exchanging the faces of your palm that is a pretty gross concept pre-coronavirus so what's happened now is people are realizing that that is actually a very unhygienic thing to do and shouldn't be something that we do going forward i think a gentle bow or an elbow or something nice you know in terms of a pleasantry exchanged is the better approach than actually shaking someone's hand. So that's actually the one item that I'm completely happy is going away. Personally, I just never really like to do it anyways. And now it's completely gone. And I don't think that we're ever going to go back to a day where we were just shaking hands with strangers. All right, guys, well, that's a list of items that I think are going to be obsolete from our world because of coronavirus. And again, I don't think any of these are bad necessarily, that they're kind of going away. Some of them, like the handshake, needed to go away. But if you do have other items that you think are going to be obsolete as well, let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this list, make sure you hit the like button. If you are new to the channel or haven't done so already, please take a moment and just click the subscribe button down below. And we'll see you next time.